Welcome back to the uh, Agility World Championships and we're going to watch the team Agility in medium very soon. We're looking at the coursework, last coursework right now. Yes, and the judge for this course is Andrea Silverberg. He, he says that his courses are based on good cooperation between dog and handler. The course should contain a natural line for the dog with a challenging combination of technique and speed. And the course should be challenging, but not impossible for the team and exciting for an audience to watch. And if we saw his uh, courses yesterday, they were just that. And he has, uh, uh, well, what do you say? He tells all the competitors to work hard and have fun. Yeah, and we talked to Andreas right before we got up here to the live and he says this is going to be really fun to watch. And when we're looking at the course, uh, it's including 14 jumps, three tunnel entrances and the weaves and the contacts, of course. And as particular for Andreas Silverberg is the tunnels under the contacts and we're looking at the two times in this course. And we're also looking at the seesaw and uh, as 16. And after the seesaw, we're going round number 17 and number five. It's a lot more close uh, in real, right to the, to the right in the screen right now. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot uh, of dogs um, missing the seesaw there. But this is, will be so much fun to watch. And now we will see the white dog who uh, ran the course before. We'll see if we can see the whole run or if they start soon. We are looking at the white dog and the, her handler Sandra Vatten and Stella. Uh, an Australian Kelpie. Uh, we're having uh, one more course walk for mediums, so we're about uh, in 10 minutes we're going to start this class. For those who want more information about a white dog, a white dog runs uh, before the course walks, that's why, so this is, uh, we have already seen the white dog in the arena. And that's uh, because uh, the, when the course is ready, uh, the judge wants to see someone run it, just to see the lines and everything, so if they want to change anything, they want to do it before the course walks, so that's why the white dog goes before the course walks. I think we're also going to see some uh, really nice uh, weave entrances uh, from both sides. And as we can see very soon, we're going up to the weaves and then we're going back to the tunnel uh, under the contact, the dog walk. And uh, so I think we're, g we're going to watch many different entrances. And today in this class, uh, if we are going to look at the total, uh, we can uh, just clarify from yesterday that uh, everyone that was disqualified yesterday will all of course run today and they will have the chance to win this Agility class, but they will not have the uh, opportunity to win uh, World Championship. So that's why we said not qualified for the finals yesterday or, or something like that. Uh, but they can of course run today and they can of course take the title of the best agility team uh, but they're not competing for the world championships and uh, we have uh, 10 teams that are through and are competing for world champion and we have 10 teams that were through yesterday that are competing for the world championships and you can see them here uh, it's four zeros then some three with time faults, two fives, and one at 16.78. So that's the 10 teams that are through. And the other was disqualified yesterday, so they're not competing for the World Championship, but they're, as said, competing for this day's title. And, and now we will see some uh, reprisals from Germany yesterday, who are uh, currently in the lead. And it's Joachim Graf with Sevs, the Manchester Terrier, here now. 
And we also have Bosena Schröder with Puck, a Shetland Sheepdog, Daniel Schröder with Cashew, Shetland Sheepdog, and Silas Book with Beam, also a Shetland Sheepdog. If you want to, you can, of course, follow us at Facebook, uh, Agility FCI 2018 Sweden. Uh, there are some news and discussions over there if you want to read. So, the lead is, as said, we have Germany in first place from yesterday. And Zero faults, 95-76 in time. Yeah, and we're going to watch uh, Germany as the last team yes. today in medium, of course. So first we will see the 17 teams that were disqualified and they will run in the, this order, just disqualified teams. And after that we will have the teams in reversed order based on how they placed yesterday. So it's first the disqualified teams, then we have USA, Italy, Belgium, Japan, Norway, Russia, France, Czech Republic, Brazil and Germany. And we have four zeros, uh, Germany, Brazil, Czech Republic and France. And the times, they, are, they have all zero faults and the times are 95, 76, 103, 112 and 102, 25. So Germany has quite the lead with almost five seconds, but then it's very close between two, three and four. Yeah, and uh, from yesterday, German were the only team that had no faults on obstacles uh, in medium. They have a little of a time fault uh, at one dog, but otherwise they were all clean runs. And so it will be very exciting to see the German medium dogs today. Yes. Uh, for those of you who missed last course, Russia won the large uh, team agility and uh, Belgium was uh, the world championship. We're going to look at the course map once again. So you can see the course. And as I said, after the seesaw, I think we're going to see a lot of hand different hand handling techniques. And number number five it's, uh, is a lot more close to number six and 17 than uh, it looks on the map. Yes, and we also have uh, the... the And we have the weaves uh, that are pretty close to the dog walk as well. I don't think it will be a problem, but it's still pretty close. And uh, I also think that we will see some... If you look at 21, 22, uh, they, when they come over 21, if they have pretty good speed from 20, I think three will be some problem for some dogs, maybe. It depends on how you handle that part of the course. Yeah, and Andreas told us that this course, it's, it's a lot of uh, techniques and if you do, but you need to set every technique to set the whole course. And he said, if this isn't agility on high level, I don't know what. <laughs> it's uh, one minute left of this last course walk and uh, we'll see then how uh, the first team will go. And the first team out will be Finland. And then we have Spain, Netherlands, Estonia as team one, two, three, and four. And we will try to update you on the total uh, results, of course. Uh, we're not... The computers are a bit struggling for us today here, but we'll try and uh, count as good as we can, Sophie and I. And we will try to keep you updated as uh, much as we can, of course. We 
we're still a bit uh, high on adrenaline after a large final where uh, Sweden was placed second in uh, in for the finals and then we unfortunately had two disqualifications and they were out but we it was uh, very 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 exciting on uh, to be in the audience for that race and there the course walk is finalized if i can see right on the time maybe not they're not walking out yet but very soon i think it will be the end there it was the end and everyone is walking off you can see the persons with the flags there they're walking at the end of the course walk just so everyone goes off at the same time we're taking out number nine of course so it won't be in the way uh, it's the weaves sign Okay, let's see here. Now we're going to start. First team out in Team Agility Medium at this World Championship. Willy Liuca and his Spanish water dog Ronja. And yesterday they were disqualified. Let's see how they do today. He has five faults so far, a drop bar. You can see the weave entrance there, a refusal. It's always exciting to see the first maybe four or eight dogs just to get a feel of the course. And there is the disqualification. Yeah, you're going around that obstacle after the long jump and you need to run as hell to yeah. get up there. It's far. Yeah or the dog needs to know the rounds. Yes, they do. Number two in Team Finland, Jonna Kanisto and the Shetland Sheepdog Nana. And yesterday they went in on zero faults and a good time, the only place the only one in the Finnish team that got through the course yesterday see what they can do with this course today up on the dog walk no. all the way down a high hit but it was a hit and in the weeps, weeps. yes Nana saved her really well there yes she did and over there into that one Tunnel. Let's see how she can manage she, a refusal, but she got over the, the long jump. Round 17, up 18, 9, no, it's a disqualification in the tunnel. As we can see, after just two dogs, you need to run fast, you need to send your dog at a long distance, and you need to send it and then pick it up really, really fast. I think we're going to see some agility in a really, really high level here. The third dog in Finland, Oiti Lepinen and the Netherlands Koikerhonje Oli. And she can run without pressure because they have two disqualified runs in Finland. She got a five on the dog walk. Nice into the weaves. Tunnel there. Up and in, yes, in that tunnel, and she's ahead of the dog, so she does that really nice. A really nice, nice hit, hit on the A-frame, and all the way to the finish line. I think we 
are also going to see some disqualifications at 11 and 12 where you need to pick up your dog really fast. We have the fourth team member of Finland, Willi Liuka again, and uh, this time with the Spanish water dog, Odi. Really nice weave entrance, but uh, uh, five faults because he went out. There, I think we're going, to, yes, exactly what I said in the beginning yes. of this dog's run. I think we're going to see a lot of those uh, because the dogs has such a high speed and they need to have a brake command of some sort to catch up themselves and just take a half break to take that obstacle from the inside. So let's see next team, Spain. Next team, number two, uh, Spain. Jesus Fernandez and the English Cocker Spaniel, Mocha. Right through the tunnel, and we have a disqualification for Jesus and Mocha. But a nice weave entrance there, all the way through the tunnel, and yes, he manages it nicely in there. I think the nice part of this course is if we see some disqualification, we could uh, see some really nice ru <laughs> runs and uh, uh, parts anyway. It doesn't look like 21 and the three will be a problem. Everyone has turned very nicely after 21 against 22. Yeah, I think you can stand on the other side of number uh, uh, 20. So I think we're going to manage that. Number team, team member number two in Spain, Ruben Jurado Marquez and Beagle Timmy. Did the dog walk nice in there? Round that fence, yes. Nice into the weaves. This is a good beagle. Oh, no, he misses the tunnel entrance, but he comes back. Now it's only a refusal. Nice pickup between uh, 11 and 12 there. Nice around number 15. Oh, almost into the weeds too, uh, again. Nice A-frame around number 20. And, and he's through at five faults. And what time was it? 48.67. 48.67. Number three in Spain. Francisco Medina Valdivia with the Spanish water dog, Sasha. He was disqualified yesterday. So let's see what he can do today. And that's five faults on the dog walk. And around that and into the weaves, yes. Yeah, and we can see the first one who goes on this side of the weaves. Oh, that's mm. a miss. But it was a really nice try, as maybe a split second earlier, and it would have worked fine. A little bit misunderstanding there. Nice A-frame. Round and 21 and 22. Yes. But that means that Spain is out of the competition for today because they have two disqualified runs. Number four in Spain, Irina Montalvo Hotel and the Brazilian Terrier Kobu. Five on the dog walk. Let's see the weave entrance. Yes, managed it that. Nice. Into the tunnel. Let's see this here, if she can pick him up. Oh, that's a real nice way to do that one. Round 15. And 17, yes. Let's see the A-frame. Yes, it's a hit. 21 and 22. Five fold. And the time 36.20. 
team number three, Netherlands. And first up there we have Roy Fontaine, Fontaine and the Shetland Sheepdog, Fancy. All the way up on the dog walk. A little bit careful down, a high hit. Pulling the dog back over the obstacle and into the weaves. It's a nice weave. Let's see here. Yeah, that's a really nice way. Yeah, picked up the dog really nicely there, all the way around, no problem at all. Up on the seesaw. And round on 17. 18 on the A frame is a hit. And he's through. Zero goals, 39-19. Number two in Netherlands, Erjan Bruin with the Shetland Sheepdog Laika. This team was also disqualified yesterday, so they have nothing to do with the, the medals of the World Championships, but they can always win this class. It's a hit. Through that tunnel, around there. Let's see how the weave goes. Yes, it's a nice weave entrance. And through the weaves. And he picks her up really nice through there, yes. And he's ahead of her, so it's not a problem. Yes, through there. And the seesaw, round 17. And a frame, yes, it's a hit. Oh, he does. Behind there, and then he's through as well. Zero fault, 39.84. So, th two clear rounds in Netherlands so far. Let's see what the third team member can do. Which is Marianne Boskord and the Pumi Haki. Oh, a drop bar on the first. Five faults. Around there, let's see the weaves. We have 10 faults oh. total right now. Yes. And over there, yeah, that works nice. And how does, does it work here? Yes, it's around. And the seesaw, yes. 17, oh, that's a nice turn. Hit on the A-frame, and 21 and 22, and we have the first team with three results. Ten fold, and the time, I did miss the time there. So let's see next. The last dog in Netherlands, uh, Wendy Willems uh, and the Pumi beat the world. And if they do a clean run here, they put some pressure on the other teams in uh, for this oh it's a refusal hockey got uh, 38 to 74 in time and another refusal the second refusal means that we and a third means and disqualification if you get three refusal you are disqualified in but, agility. But it still means that Netherlands are in the lead for this agility team run for now with three results in. And a total of ten faults. Team number four, Estonia. And first out, Kaisa Sero and the Shetland Sheepdog, Sira. And Estonia were also disqualified yesterday, so they're not in the competition for world champions. But they are, of course, in the competition for this day's run. A nice weave. Let's see how she manages this. And yay, oh, there what over. a nice line she got there. Oh, oh no, misses the long jump. Now they're over. And the seesaw, yes. Round 17, it's a drop bar. We're up in 10 faults total. And some extra time because she passed the long jump. 39.95. Yes, so 10 faults in total, which means that they have to have uh, two zeros to uh, be in the same as Netherlands. And if they have... Second team member in Estonia, Kiliki Vein and Moody Nera. 
disqualification. They took the tunnel instead of the dog walk. Yeah, and I think we're going to see a lot of those during these uh, runs. So if uh, Natalie and Kaisa, who are the last two team, member, team members, does uh, clean runs and in fast times, they will go up in the lead. Yeah, and we have already seen Kaisa make, make a run, so we will just hope for her to get another with her other dog. Third team member in Estonia, which is the fourth team so far, Natalie Haponen and her parson Russell Terrier, Essie. And there you can see in the reprisal how the dog takes the tunnel instead of the dog walk. And now we have Natalie and Essie off. It's a good start up the dog walk, uh, yes. And she gets and the terrier to doesn't take the tunnel. <laughs> It was a low hit, I think, on the dog walk. Nice there, let's see the entrance. Yes, that's a nice weave entrance. Through the tunnel, let's see here, 11 and 12. Yes, no problem. Oh, now she nice has to line. run. And it's round, yes it is. The And they're through, zero fault, 36, 23. And that means that they are in on a faster time than uh, Netherlands so far. Let's see what the last dog can do. And it's uh, the fourth team member of Estonia, Kaisa Saro and the Shetland Sheepdog, Lizzie. I think it was a high hit on the dog walk. Yeah. Let's see the weaves. It's a nice entrance there, yes. And they're through. Let's see, 11 and 12. Yeah, no problem. And round there, yes. Good one on the seesaw. 17, oh. 18. And a hit on the A-frame. And she is through. Zero fault, 35, 91. A really good time. That should put them in the lead for this class. Team number five, Slovenia, uh, also disqualified from yesterday. Uh, we're starting with uh, Dasa Sakotnik and the Shetland Sheepdog, Kaz. And they're already off. A little misunderstanding into the weaves, but they sold it quite good. And Estonia went in on... I think they went in on the and first wrong way on 15 means disqualification for Dasa and Kass. We have the we have the second team member in Slovenia. It's Annabella Kokail and the parcel Russell Terrier Sen. And zero fault so far. Let's see the weaves. Yes, they managed that. They're through tunnel. Let's see 11-12. They get a crooked line, but it's a line. Now they're through, and let's. See. It's a misunderstanding, but it's round and no fault. Seesaw. Round 17, yes. 18, let's see A frame. It's a miss on the A frame, so five faults. And otherwise they're through. So five faults, 45, 71 in time. And we are going to have the third team member of Slovenia, which is the fifth team so far. Ogrin Babunski and Dipumi Sin. A high hit on the dog walk. 
into the weaves. Really nice entrance there for Sin. Up over the long jump and round number 15. No problem at all with those uh, really long legs that he has. And it's a hit on the A-frame. Round there and in the finish, yes. 37-16, zero fault. One clean run and one five fault so far when we're going to watch the last team member of Slovenia, which is no one less than Silvia Trackman and the and Pyrenean Sheepdog Lee. From a dropped bar, it's a nice running and it's a refusal and a disqualification. Yeah, Lee kind of missed the obstacle after the dog walk and uh, turned so hard and took the other obstacle. Run. Now Lei has really fun in the, on the course here. So next team is Austria. And the first uh, is Werner Goltz with Esmeralda, a Kromforlender. Austria was also disqualified yesterday, so they're not competing for the world champions, but they are competing for this day's run. One, two, and three is nice. And up the dog walk, and it's a hit. And it's a refusal on number five. And nice entrance to the weaves and very nice that he can do it all by himself and he's through there. And it's around, yes it is. And the seesaw, let's see the last bit here now. 17, 18, and he's on the wrong side of the frame, but it works. Oh, it works. What a dog. And he's through. Five fault, 36, 98. What a dog. So let's see, next team member in Austria is Tamara Sedlmayer with you, a Shetland Sheepdog. They were clean, did a clean run yesterday. Let's see what they can do with this course today. Yes, it's a hit on the A-frame. They are through the tunnel and round. Yes, they did it. Let's see the weaves. Oh, it's a nice weave entrance and they're through the weaves. Let's see here, 11 and 12, nice line. Let's run for it. Oh, she manages that. It's oh, that too. That's not bad to manage all that. Oh, and she does that too. Over the A-frame, yeah, it was a hit. So let's run the past couple of, yeah, it's beautiful. 37.09. Give her a prize of some kind. Yeah. What a woman and what a dog. They saved each other many times. This is the yeah the most cooperated dog I've seen today. Yeah, so now we have uh, team member three, Simon Ulrich Pansi with Babu, a Pyrenean sheepdog. And it's nice through the weaves. Let's see, 11 and 12. In, 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 in. Yes, they manage that. And oh no, it's a tunnel. That's a disqualification. So, so far Austria has five poles. And if uh, Lucas Eigner, who's next, goes in on uh, a clean run, they will go up in the lead for this day. Yeah, and uh, there we see a beautiful weave. Yeah, but it, uh, it, it it means she was a little bit too far off the weaves, so that's why she got a little bit bad line there for the dog. But we're going to watch the last team member of Austria, which is Luz Lucas Eigner and the Moody Peach. Nice over one, two, three. This is a fast dog and it's the tunnel. That means Austria is disqualified. We will see now if she... No, it's a tunnel once more. It's a very, very fun tunnel. Now 
they do it from obstacle number five. Look at that dog. What a speed. The wrong entrance in the weaves. But now, yeah, they're through. Let's see how they do 11 and 12. That's a nice 11 and 12. And he misses the long jump, but he's over number 15. Barely, but he's over. And we have uh, 10 teams left to watch before we're going to see the teams with results from yesterday. And team number seven, Hungary. And first team member out is Silla Foror and the Pyrenean Sheepdog, Fanny. Oh, what a nice hit on the dog walk. Nice through the tunnel. And she manages that. Let's see the weaves. Yes, she does that side of the weaves. And they're through the tunnel. 11, 12, yes. And oh, no. Tunnel too much. Tunnel. It's a very fast course. And you have to be with the dog there if they're not to take the tunnel. Because when they have done that tunnel with exactly that bend on it, they will automatically see the next tunnel. And if you're a little bit behind after the tunnel under A-frame, the dog just is just seeing the other tunnel because it's turning uh, the, her body left. Now we're going to watch the second team member of Hungary, which is Irina Ken Keskini and Dimudi Meze. We have uh, two, two disqualification for Hungary, and so we are just going to sit back and watch uh, the two ones who's left. First out, Agnes Ax Kevesi and the Poodle Ike. And they got a hit on the dog walk. Through there, nice around that fence. Let's see. yes, it's a nice entrance to the weaves. Let's see 11-12 here. And yeah, a quite nice that. line, and she's up to the long jump, <laughs> but not. She did turn a little bit to the left. She did. Yeah, you need to turn to push the dog to the long jump, and then you need to push the dog around, and you're always a little bit behind to the left. So the dog needs to have some really good independence up here in the corner. And as we can see, Ike just watched left to her, his handler and then took the jump. It's very easy to do that today, I think. Last uh, one in Hungary, Andrian Shabu and the poodle Nando. It's a hit on the dog walk. Through the tunnel and in, yes, over that fence. Let's see the weaves goes well. And they're through the tunnel. 11 and 12 is a nice line. Let's see how she does this. And, and she, she needs to move. No. It's, it's a poodle same. thing. <laughs> so it's four disqualifications for Hungary today. And we have nine teams left until we're going to watch the teams that had results from yesterday, which uh, is fighting for the championships title this year uh, in Sweden. Now we're going to watch team number eight, Denmark, and the first team member out, Nadine Sørensen and the Shetland Sheepdog, Victor. And she got through the course yesterday with, with a little bit of time fault. She did get a refusal for that, right? I didn't see Andreas put his hand up, but it says refusal on the screen, so I will say it's a refusal. Yes, and that's the second refusal. Which means we just got one refusal left before disqualification, so uh, Nadine needs to keep Victor tight, watch him, and put him around that obstacle all the way up on the seesaw 
And we have, unfortunately, a disqualification for Nadine and Victor. That means that we have to have uh, good runs from the other three in this team if they want to be in the competition for today's run. Second team member of Denmark, Pia Metz and the Shetland Sheepdog, Lucky. For you who are following the live results, you may have seen that it looks a little bit strange and uh, we're ahead of that and we're working on it. Uh, we're trying to fix it as soon as possible. Oh, and, what a uh, nice save for <laughs> Pia and Metz. And a nice weave there. We will try to keep you updated as good as we can, but we uh, also have no results, but have to count for ourselves. Uh, so we'll, we'll try as good as we can. That was a refusal. So we have one refusal so far, and there we have an obstacle from the wrong side. Uh, which means disqualification for Pia, Metz and Lucky. And for Denmark, we have two disqualifications. So Sara and Jesper will have to... Uh, they can't run for any title today, but they can run to have really fun and do great DLT. And that's the most important part, I think. And uh, the audience from Denmark are really cheering on their team members. Yeah, some... Uh, some uh, <laughs> Denmark, <laughs> and that's the wrong tunnel for Sara Lorentzen and Fiji Amudi. Yeah, we're uh, and as maybe a third time. No, no, <laughs> now it's dog walk. We're as south as possible in Sweden, so the the, the team team Denmark has cl closer to this event than many Swedes have, and it's fun with the tunnels. Nice line there. Let's see how they can manage this long jump and around. And yeah, that looks really nice. Around 17. 18. And not a hit on the A-frame. And there too. So let's see what Jesper Kastensen and Happy, a Shetland Sheepdog, will do with this course. It's pretty clear that this course is a challenge, which it should be. It's a world championship. Andreas found something lying on the course, I think, so he just wants to put that away. Well, what was it? He has found something that he's showing to the crew at uh, the secretariat. He wants to wipe his hands off. I and Rebecca, our speaker in the uh, arena, also wants to do that, I think, because he put it up in her hands. But we're not sure what it is. So, but that's why we will have a, a short break and everyone is laughing. <laughs> As well as Jasper, Jasper is. And now they're going out to see if they can clean the course a bit. We're hearing from the crowd down here that was poo on the course. We will see a uh, replay on that in the down. There you can see Andreas coming in with whatever it is. <laughs> and hands, hands it over to Rebecca in the secretary. And I don't think they realized what it was. <laughs> but we, have, we haven't seen a dog stopped at the course, so someone was just speeding up. And we have Rebecca, our uh, arena what do you call it? Speaker? Speaker, yes. Uh, in, uh, she's back here, and we have a judge uh, on the court, maybe, no? Where is our judge? I think he's out wiping his hands yeah, off. I think he is, too. 
So now we're doing a little bit of cheering in the crowd instead. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps all over my arms when we're watching this wave in the arena. Yeah. Rebecca is doing a great job to put the crowd up when something like this happens. It's living animals we're ha handling here. So everything can happen at any time. And this is a real proof of that. <laughs> now Andreas is back. So now we will see Jesper Kerstensen from Denmark with happy Shetland Sheepdog. Back and looking good. Last team member in Denmark, as we said. Jesper Kerstensen and the Shetland Sheepdog happy. And they're off. All the way down on the dog walk, into that tunnel. And round there, yes, a little bit of a misunderstanding, but it went well into the weaves. So far, so good for the last team member in Denmark. Picked the dog up there, and now he needs to run. And fast. he runs. Oh, but he runs. No, not fast enough, unfortunately. It's a disqualification for Jesper and Happy. Yeah, and we have eight teams left to the results teams. And uh, team number nine is the one we're going to watch now, and it's Portugal. First team member out in Portugal. Here you can see the long jump, and he does not run fast enough. So let's see Portugal. It's a beagle. Ana Bernardo with the beagle, Tamina. The second beagle in this medium class. And it's up the dog walk. And on the Nice line into the tunnel there. Yes. And uh, she's a quite <laughs> long line to the jump after the tunnel. Into the weaves. A back cross into the tunnel. Tamina did a clean run yesterday. Let's see if she can do this again. And a nice round there. Up the seesaw. And round 17. Over 18. And the A-frame is a hit. You can see this dog is accelerating over the contacts quite good. So it's a clean run, 56-73. Second team member in Portugal, Malin Kvist and the miniature schnauzer, Penny. And uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, Malin is from Sweden from the beginning. Nice up the dog walk. It's a hit. Over six through the tunnel. And round number nine, eight. It's a refusal in the weaves. But now the weave works very well. Let's see how she does 11 and 12. Yeah, it's not a problem. Oh, but she took the A-frame instead of the tunnel. We haven't seen that before, and I don't think we're going to see a lot of those today. So it's a disqualification for Marlin and Penny, but we still have a clean run on Anna Bernardo. So let's see what Hugo and Luis can do with this course. Yeah, the third team member in Portugal, Hugo Santos and Moody Mugi. And we can see Penny went up on the A-frame there instead of the tunnel. Now they're off. Hugo and Mugi up on the dog walk. A it's high a hit. hit. And through the tunnel, round there, and a little bit of miss but she he hit the weave so it's not a problem 11 12 he does that nicely and now he runs and works it nice and round 17 nicely over 18 hit on the a frame nice it's and tight good speed here on this yes. yay 39 05 and zero volts 
We have two clean runs for Portugal when we're going to see the last team member, Luis Narciso and the Shetland Sheepdog, Spicy. Oh, breaking the dog on the dog walk so it hits the contacts really good. And we're watching the entrance of the weaves right there and uh, a back behind the cross in the tunnel and picks us up good between 11 and 12. Really nice. We have two teams that are through this course so far and they both have 10 faults. So he can afford some faults, but of course it's best with a clean run. Let's yeah, will we see the first clean team here? We hope so. Oh, nice and tight and 21 and yes, we do. It's uh, zero with 41.83, but maybe, I don't know how the time was on Anna Bernardo, if it will be some time faults or not. Team number 10, three team members only, Latvia. First out, Sanita Ribsamena and the Shetland Sheepdog, Ugrim. And they were disqualified yesterday as well, so no chance for competing for the world champions, but they can always win today. Let's see here, yeah, they're over the long jump and round there. And Seesaw works well, round 17, over 18. Let's see the A-frame. And it's a hit. It's a round there, so two jumps left. And yes, it's a clean run, 44-30. And Portugal was in on uh, zero faults and a time of 137.61 in total. So we'll see if there will be some time faults or not. We, number two in Latvia, Elita Umbrasco and the Shetland Sheepdog, Leta. Looks good so far. And into the weaves nicely through number 10. Let's see how we do 11. And yeah, it's not a problem. Now she has to run. And she does. Look what a nice round. And it's Seesaw is a hit. 17, 18. Let's see the A-frame. It's also a hit. Nice and tight around there. 21. And yes, it's zero fault. 38.65. Two out of three clean runs when we're going to watch the third and last team member of Latvia, Svetlana Prokapenko and the Shetland Sheepdog, Stels. Over the first, second, third. Yes, let's see the dog walk and she's up. It's a hit. And there through the tunnel and collects the dog nicely around that fence. And oh no, it's a refusal in the weaves. Little bit too tight with the dog there. And this means they're not going to beat Portugal in this uh, agility class. But they might go in for a second if she doesn't get any more faults. Yeah, and the now. dog laid on the uh, bar there on number 17. And through there, and 21, and yes, it's 5 4 and the time 45.07. Next team is Poland. We have Magdalena Domanska with uh, the Pyrenean sheep dog Mora. Mora, maybe. Latvia went in oh, on five what a faults. nice hit. And unfortunately, a uh, disqualification for Magdalena and Mora. So uh, Latvia went in on five faults and a total time of 128.02, so a good time. Second so far.
We have three team members left of Poland. And this can't be right, because it says Magdalena Doman Gomanska again. I don't know who's running, but this is this has to be Ivona Kalis and the poodle Pepe. Oh, what a nice hit on the dog walk there. And five faults in the weaves. And what a nice saving over that long jump. Over the A-frame, a really nice hit there. Two obstacles left. And they got in on five faults. And the time. Ninety-six was the time for Ivona Kalis and the poodle Pepe. Now we're going to watch Barbara Schlonkowska and the Pyrenean sheepdog Radzia. As far as we can, what we have counted for today with this class here, we have Portugal in the lead for now for zero faults, 137.61 in time. Then we have Latvia on five faults and Estonia in 10. Yeah, so top three right now, Portugal, Latvia and Estonia in this class. Nice hit on that dog walk. We're still on the disqualified teams from yesterday, so it's just the class that we're counting right now. Five faults in the weaves. A really nice line between 11 and 12. And we have a tunnel, which means disqualification for Barbara and Razia. Which means that Poland are disqualified from for today, but we will still, of course, see Ivona and Pepe do <laughs> their round. No, sorry, Ivona and Pepe has already run. We will see Magdalena Gadomska and Kudl. Yeah, Magdalena Gadomska and the Poodle Kudl is up on the starting line right now, and they're off. She and it's a nice hit on the dog walk. Through the tunnel, good. And around that. Let's see the weaves. Yes, it's a hit. And through the weaves nicely. Let's see what she does with 11 and 12. It's not a problem with that line. And now she has to run, and she does, but it... Oh, oh she manages! Save. Oh, what and a save! save. Makes it. Oh, what a dog! <laughs> That's a poodle you can count on, 150%. <laughs> yes, and a nice hit on the, and she does it again, and he just, <laughs> what a dog. <laughs> wow. Even Andrea. Zero faults, 42.66. Our yard took his hands up over his head. <laughs> and you see it on the uh, replay now, how he goes around but still does not take the fence on the way back. Good dog. Oh my god, this Let's is agility. See South Africa now. Team number 12 and first team member out, Rob Hall and the Shetland Sheepdog, Mr. T. And Mr. T had some trouble in the uh, weaves yesterday. He looked at the crowd. So let's see how he's managed this today. And we've not now got it confirmed that what, uh, what Andreas picked up was, in fact, poop. Yeah, and... Uh, we're having some trouble in the weaves today also. Picks the dog back. Yeah, this dog looked up, up at the crowd yesterday. And he does and it, so today yeah, too. In the exact same corner. Refusal there. 
he thinks it sounds m maybe a bit weird. Something smells really good up in the audience, I think. And it's a good speed <laughs> over the last three. 10 volts, 56, 46. Second team member out when we have five teams left to the totals is Jana Smal and Emilia Tushnauser Finn. And if South Africa wants to go up in the lead, she has to have a clean run. All the way down on the dog walk really nicely. Picks the schnauzer up good at that obstacle into the weaves. Yes, and they're through the weaves. Not the fastest weaves we've seen today, but they are clean. 11 and 12 is not a problem. Through the tunnel, over the long jump, and a nice round there. Let's see here, Six, 17 and 18, and the A-frame is a hit. And the last three jumps, she's clear so far. And yes, it's a clean run, 50-43. And third team member in South Africa, which is team number 12, Caroline Shelshinski, and the border collie, Pippa. It's a very small border collie if she runs in medium. Nice up on the dog walk, it's a hit. Over that and through the tunnel nicely, and she picks her up nicely. A little bit of, it's a refusal in the weaves. A bit of misunderstanding over the fence before, maybe that walk was, did it. Ooh. Oh, that's close to the dog walk. But she, she looked at the it. dog walk and then she looked at the tunnel and she couldn't uh, make up her mind, so she ran between. So now, and um, an obstacle from wrong way means disqualification. Oi, and the people went out to the audience. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> she was like, I'm done with this. You can't run with me. It's good enough. So <laughs> I'm going to take an obstacle. <laughs> no one is counting on. <laughs> Ooh, oh, ouch. Now she hit her face on the fence. Hope she didn't get herself injured in some way. So far, Tag. so far uh, they have 10 faults to count. And here we can see Pippa is taking the long jump and she's like, okay, I'm not going left, I'm going right. <laughs> and I'm taking <laughs> the way out to the audience. It's not something, the same problem it's something up has. there for the South African dogs, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can tell. And it's not uh, the same problem that many else has had when they go left, so it's that. And you can see Carolyn is smiling her face off when Pippa is jumping over the fence to the audience. The last team member in South Africa, Gabby Grohovats and the Pyrenean sheepdog, Chanel. Yes, and uh, South Africa has already 10 faults and not very fast time, so they're not competing about uh, top three. Top three here. But if this got through, they end up in top five. Yeah, we have four teams uh, through the course right now. On first place, Portugal. Second place, Latvia. And on third place, Estonia. And the fourth team through is Netherlands. And we have a tunnel, which means disqualification, which means South Africa is not not competing for uh, today's prizes. They're out uh, since they have two disqualified rounds. We're going to watch the, oh, four, she fell. the four last she, teams. She Be looks happy, although she fell, so we hope she didn't injure herself. The four last teams before we're going into the teams with <laughs> who has results from yesterday. Here we see the fall. Yeah, she trips on both the dog and herself, I think. 
Yeah, the dog ran into her leg, which yeah, but she made her uh, fall. A Great Britain, number 13, and first out, Ellie Curtis and English Cocker Spaniel Archie. And she did a nice hit on the dog walk. Good so far in the weaves, yes. Oh no, she went out of the weaves, looked at the tunnel. New try. You need to hold on to that little cargo spaniel so it don't uh, get out in the tunnel. And a really nice line there. And yes, yeah, she, she manages it. Oh no. Oh, the oh, other way. Yes. I didn't. I don't think she she thought that from the beginning. And five faults on the seesaw. Up on the frame, all the way down. A it's nice a hit. hit. And over ten faults. A really fighting run, I say. 45-18 in time. Yeah, and we have seen a really a different handling technique there up on number 15. We're watching the second team member of Great Britain right now, which is Abigail Doxford and the English Cocker Spaniel Wigfield. So to go up in the lead, this has to be a clean run. As well as her two team members who are left. It's a hit on the dog walk. Nice through the tunnel. Picks up the dog really nice there. Let's see the weaves. It's a little bit of misunderstanding, but yes, the weaves works. And they're through. Through 10 and 11 and in nice on 12. What a good line she gets. And oh, she runs. And she makes it. Yes, she does. It's a little bit of a hit with the dog there, but goes well. Over 17. 18, let's see the A-frame. It's a hit. Around there, two obstacles left. Come on. And it's a clean run, 43-69. Third team member in Great Britain, Sam Tov and the Shetland Sheepdog, Penny. And let's see what they can do with this course. From Andrea Silverberg, the need a Swedish clean judge. Yes, we need a clean oh, run here as well. It's what a nice, a nice hit. And she picks the. Oh, that's a good line over that fence. And it's a refusal. Now they have to go clean for the rest if they want to compete about second place today. And it's. Oh, that's a nice save. What a listening dog she has there and up over the a-frame it's a hit round there and 21 and yeah five points 39 23 and it means they're going to have at least five faults in total, which means they're fighting for the second or the third place if they have a clean run from the fourth team member in Great Britain, which is Hayley Telling with the Shetland Sheepdog, Teal. To go in on second place, they, this has to be a clean run. And no, they're not competing. Oh. Do we have a fault now? We didn't have the information that uh, Haley and Teal were not starting today. So we are having a break uh, for about, I think it's 10 minutes break. Uh, seven minutes break, exactly. Uh, seven minutes break from now and then we're going to watch Luxembourg, Sweden, Switzerland and Canada. And then we're going to see the, the teams which have results from yesterday. So uh, those are going to fight about the World Championship title for medium. We have 10 teams with um, results. It's Germany, Brazil, Czech Republic, France, Russia, Norway, Japan, Belgium, Italy, and the USA. And we have uh, a result for Great Britain. They went in on 15 faults and time of 128.1 and that will not put them in the top three for now. It's, yeah, we have in the lead of this class, we have for now Portugal, on, uh, with the, which is clean and the time 130. 
7.61, which is a really high time uh, compared to the other ones here. Uh, Latvia on second, five faults, 128.02. And on third place with the best time right now is Estonia, 10 faults and the time 112.09. We're going to take a break. I think it's uh, like five minutes left right now. Uh, and we will be back soon with uh, the rest of uh, Team Agility class of 2018. You're welcome back to uh, this uh, Agility Medium competition in teams and we're uh, off now after the break with Luxembourg who only have three team members. We start with Don Fader with Matt, the Shetland Sheepdog. And we have four teams left before we go into the teams who had results from yesterday. As Emma said, Luxembourg, team number 14, five faults for a dropped bar at the first obstacle. All the way down on the dog walk, Andreas is pointing at the low spot. Because the dog hit and a refusal in the weaves, 10 faults total so far. Oh, missed weave pulled and uh, because they are uh, running through they are disqualified which means that luxembourg is disqualified from this day's competition since they only have three team members we will of course see jill and cheryl run anyway yeah and uh, they're in the finish line dan and matt so we will watch the second team member of luxembourg which is jill whistler and the border collie rocky border terrier it's this is not a border collie, it's a border terrier, which name is Rocky. It's a very special border collie, otherwise. Yeah, it's a really, I think I like this border terrier. And it's a tunnel. <laughs> and it's a terrier in the tunnel, as it should be, as unfortunately. Before. Yeah, I think the color of this border terrier is really, really nice. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really dark. One competitor left for Luxembourg. Then we just have three teams left before it's the teams with results from yesterday, which is going to fight for the titles of this year's World Championships. But we will maybe have some adrenaline in the next race, because then it's, uh, next team will be Sweden. And, yeah, uh, I feel the ghost bumps already. Yes. They are also disqualified from earlier, but they can do a nice competition today. Last one out in Luxembourg, Sherry Gob and the Shetland Sheepdog chase. And we will see who has to chase who in this run, if it's Chase or Cheryl. Looks really good so far. Around that obstacle. Oh, what a nice weave entrance. Yeah, and the crowd is sharing for that. And 11 and 12, yes, nice through there. And she runs, and it's the long jump. It, oh, it's around. Yes, it was a nice, nicely read of the dog. It's so nice, uh, uh, audience uh, and uh, agility overall. Uh, they, we, we like to see good agility. It doesn't and matter it's who's running it. Run. Like it's a really good run. We have a clean run and everyone's cheering. And now it's up for Sweden. And we're uh, right in front of the Swedish audience. Uh, and first out from Sweden, Anneli Hermansson and the Shetland Sheepdog Dante. They were clean yesterday. Yes, they were. And this is a running dog. So just hold the dog up on the dog walk. Yes, a hit. Hold him back there, Anneli, into the tunnel. Round and into the weaves. I know he... Oh, he missed it. It's a refusal. Five faults. 
And 11, 12 works nicely. And now she has to run, and she does. And round, no oh, problem. What a nice line for Dante. Anneli gave him a really, really nice chance to and take a that really nice obstacle. cross there. Hit on the A frame, and it's 21 and 22. And yeah, 39.94, five volts. Second competitor for Sweden, we have Eleonor Molin with the Pyrenean sheepdog Liv. And Liv means life in Swedish. And now we need a clean run if they want to compete for today's Look at this dog result. walk. Look at this dog walk. Nice hit. And they round that up skill there, yes. And the weaves. Oh, oh what a nice entrance there for Liv and Elinor. And pick Liv up between those yeah. obstacles. Oh, she, oh, did she it. is bending over that obstacle. Yeah, really. Oh, oh no, on oh, the no. Run. She, yes. oh, no, so what a save. She does. Good dog, really oh. good dog. And a nice cross there from Elinor. Up, and it's a hit. Last three fences, one, two, and yes! yes! It's a clean run, 38-46, and the crowd is cheering. All the Swedes are standing up, and we can see in the replay here that Liv saves Eleanor really, really nice. We're going to see the third team member of Sweden, which is Anne Karlsson and Moody Bunny. And, we and need she needs to run. hold her tight so she's not taking that tunnel. And she does hold her all the way down on the dog walk. Yeah, into the weaves. Oh, 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 Bunny, where are you going? But it works, it works. They're through the weaves. And 11-12. Uh, yes, oh, it's look how far. And she runs and runs. And it's a round. Yes, oh. of course it is. It doesn't even look hard when she's running with those no. long legs. And over 18. And no, no, no. no. It's a disqualification. Oh. In the tunnel. Those freaking tunnels. Yes. I don't think Annie is uh, quite pleased with this weekend. Bonnie has taken two out of two tunnels yesterday and today. And this means Sweden can't even compete for today's uh, win in this class. No, but they can go in on second place if they have a good time and a clean run next. Now we have Hanna Wennerstein Nilsson with Liam Michelsen Sheepdog and he's father of Dante who ran the first race in this team. Let's see if we can have a clean run. And Hannah is, she doesn't have long legs, but she no, can it's run. The disqualification in the tunnel. Not a terrier, but a Shetland Sheepdog in the tunnel. Uh, Hannah, Anne, and Eleonore is running individual uh, tomorrow and on Sunday, so we will see them again. Yes, we will. So we have a Shetland Sheepdog, a Mudi, and a Pyrenean Sheepdog individual for Sweden tomorrow and on Sunday. Next team, two teams left for the results. It's Switzerland, Sweden's right hand, you can say. Uh, number 16, Switzerland, Dan Daniel Buschmeier, and the Netherlands, Kajker Hanje Piraya. And for this team to be able to go up in the lead for today's class, it's the three clean runs that are needed out of four. And it Clean run for da Daniel and Piraya. And we're going to watch the second team member for Switzerland, which is Gudrun Hassler and the poodle Camino. And we're getting so ready to count some results uh, for the team that has results from yesterday. Uh, five faults in the weaves. And a disqualification. Mm -hmm. 
Vänta. Men... Daniel Buchmeier and Piraya went in on uh, zero faults, 39.79 in time. Gudrun and Camino had a disc. Now it's Claudia Schwab and Milo, Shetland Sheepdog. So to be able to take this day. Uh, so now Claudia Schwab and Milo is running. They need a clean run to go up in the lead for today's class. And she does it really well so far. A nice line between 11 and 12 over the long jump and round. Yes, it was close, but she did it. Seesaw is done. Nice 17, 18 up. Let's see the A-frame. It's a hit. It's a very hit long on the edge, but it's a hit. And it's a clean. No, it's a five fault run. Sorry, five faults. 36, 70, so not competing for the first place, but they can go in on second place if they do it nice this last round. It's Michael Frey, Michelle Frey and Queenie, Australian Kelpie. And up the dog walk, yes, it's what it was a hit, and it's a refusal and disqualification. So Switzerland, it's out of this competition. But a nice weave. Nice 11 12. Let's see how he does this. Yeah, it's not a problem with Queenie. And a nice seesaw. I have only seen nice seesaws in medium so far. Yeah, I don't think we have seen a lot of fives on those today. No. High quality on those. Yes. Now we have Canada, last team who was disqualified yesterday. So this is the last team who can only compete about this day's title. We begin with Megan Turton with Jazz, the Shetland Sheepdog. It's a hit on the dog walk over there through the tunnel nicely and she collects him good nice and tight oh what what a shame it was a nice entrance but then a misunderstanding through the tunnel nice over 11 12. and disqualification Okay, let's see here. Uh, next up is Anneli Hilton with Arson, Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. And here we can see how they are disqualified when they take the jump from the wrong way. So, Megan Turton and Jazz. No, Anneli Hilton and Arson, sorry. Anneli Hilton and Arson. And it's a uh, five fault on the dog walk. Now she has to go through the rest of the course with zero fault, but it's a refusal there, so they're not competing about first or second place, Canada. But they can go in on third if they have it. Oh, it's a disqualification when they take the dog walk. As we said before, the, it's pretty close from the seesaw to the dog walk. No, from the weaves to the dog walk, sorry. And there's another tunnel. Uh, we can say when we uh, watch Anneli run uh, the last part of the course that we still have problems with the live results. We're sorry for that. As you can see, it uh, doesn't get up on the screens here, the results, and it's because we don't have good live results at the moment. They're working hard on it, and uh, in the meantime, we will try to count as good as we can up here for you so you have a clue about what is needed to go up in the lead. Now we have the third uh, team member from Canada, Lindsay Bembo, with Mac, a poodle. And they're off. One, two, three, nicely. Up the dog walk, yes. It's a hit. 
and through the tunnel, and she collects him nicely and really tight over that. Let's see if they can do the weaves. Yes, they can. She helped him a lot there in the entrance. Through 11, 12 is a bit of a misunderstanding, but they made it. And now they're running fast here to make the round, and it works nicely. It's a hit on the seesaw. Over 17. Let's see the A-frame. Oh, it's a very long jump over the A-frame, but it's a hit. And they are through at zero faults, 49 to 75. Let's see the fourth team member in Canada. It's Kim Boyce with Sprite, a Shetland Sheepdog. Yeah, and this, this is the last dog we're seeing without uh, results from yesterday. Uh, then we're going to uh, move over to the teams with results. And this is where we're getting really exciting. Oh, uh, disqualification there. And we are going to move over to the results from yesterday. And now the real fight is beginning. We have 10 teams with results. So we have 10 teams with the chance to be the world champions of 2018 in medium. First one out in from USA, Kathleen Oswald with the Shetland Sheepdog, Whimsy. And we will try to count as good as we can, we promise. Zero fault so far, looks good on 11-12. Runs fast there, not a problem. Up the seesaw, yes, it's a nice hit. Round 17, over 18. It's a hit on the A frame, round there nicely. 21, and yes, it's zero faults, 40 16. Next team member is Jennifer Crank with Swift Shetland Sheepdog. Oh, <laughs> what a nice dog walk. It's a two on, two off, but it was quite standing. Oh, a tight back cross into the tunnel. <gasps> no, a refusal on number 12. A second refusal. And you can tell the dog is really <laughs> angry on the handler because she don't have the direction in time. See here, 18, and the A-frame is a hit. Last three. Yeah, it's 10 faults, and the time is 43.37. So hopefully USA can count that one off so that we have two clean runs next. Yeah, and third uh, team member in the USA, Marcy Mantle and the Shetland Sheepdog, Stripe. And as we said yesterday, Stripe is named after just the stripe uh, the dog has on uh, the back. Oh, a little kick there. Looks good in the weaves, going through. 11, 12 is not a problem for Stripe. And oh, run. Oh, oh, no, it's a, a disqualification. Tunnel. And it means we need to count that 10 faults. No, just tell me what to do, the dog says. Stripe stands and look at the judge <laughs> and says, hello, where am I supposed to go? Are you my owner? Really? Am I going to follow you? Okay, if I just can run, I will run with anyone. And uh, as uh, many people know, uh, Andrea Silverberg uh, himself has Sheltie at home. So he's a really, really nice Sheltie man. But 
and it's nice that he's so <laughs> you can see here the dog is like hello where are we, where are we going <laughs> that was the nicest thing of today fourth team member of USA and last chance John Nys and the Shetland Sheepdog Boss and with them from yesterday they have 16.78 volts it's a nice through the weaves and here oh, are oh, no, another it's a tunnel so and USA is out of the world championship title. Next up we have Italy and from yesterday they have five faults and the time 103.97. And first one out in Italy. Uh, is uh, Julia Morteo with the Parson Russell Terrier, yes. And we're watching, yes, here, and this is a big Parson, and uh, it's a really, really fast legs on that Parson Terrier. A disqualification when they take the number 12 from the wrong direction. Which means we have to count on the rest team members of Italy to have a total result. Yes, yesterday oh. they went in on five faults in total and a time of 103.97. And then they had uh, to count of Andrea Brocca who had 7.83. Uh, this is the standings for the uh, the class. We think it might be a, a bit, yeah. It's, as said, it's a little bit of a problem with the live results, but we think that should be the right Yeah, one. and we're watching Francesca Miletto with the Shetland Sheepdog, Uvo. And they have zero faults so far. And she runs fast, it's a good round there, yes. And the resu result we saw earlier is only for this class, of course, it's not the total. And up the A-frame, it's a hit, round there. Run for this, yes, it's a zero, 41-34. Let's see two more clean runs and they go up in the lead for the championship. Third team member from Italy in medium, Lorenzo Simi with the Pumi Abbey. And as said from yesterday, they have five faults and 103.97 in time. And they're round there, yes, nicely, up the seesaw, round that fence. Let's see the A-frame, yes, it's a hit, five faults so far, and they're in on five faults, and time 42.23. We're going to watch the last dog from Italy, which is Andrea Brocca and the Parson Russell Terrier, Easy. And let's see how easy this is. A Terrier up on the dog walk, all the way down. What a nice hit. Oh, and it's a disqualification. wrong way on the obstacle after the dog walk, which means disqualification which means Italy is out of the game, both for today and for the champions. Let's see what Belgium can bring to the table then. Yes, Belgium is up from yesterday. They have five faults with them and the time 100, 102 and 51. And we're right in the replay next here to the we Belgium see a really crowd. nice dog walk and then sadly uh, 
the wrong way over that fence. First out in Belgium, Andy de Grote with the Border Collie Didi. Up nice on the dog walk. It's a slow, but it's a hit. Over there through the tunnel. Yes, round, and we're in the seat. Weaves in the weaves. I have to say the dry, this right. 11 and 12, not a problem. And now he has to run for it. And oh, he, does. he can run with those oh, legs. Yes. Oh, my God. And over the seesaw, round 17. Oh, he wraps that uh, obstacle. Yeah, I, I haven't he, seen this before. No, I think he loses a little bit of time, but better a to be safe than sorry today. <laughs> and it's a zero, 39-39. Second team member of Belgium, Tom Elsen and the Shetland Sheepdog, Lupe. It's a pretty fast time, not the fastest today, but pretty fast. Faster today so far, I think, is 36.20. It was a Brazilian terrier. Nice line between 11 and 12, and this man can also run as hell. Oh, what a nice line he gives to that dog up there. Oh, oh, oh you're standing straight. Oh, uh, it's a drop bar, bar and a tunnel too much means disqualification. And a lot of pressure on Frank and Jessica, who are the last team members in Belgium. Yeah, we have been watching Belgium taking... Oh, that was a long jump the of gold the A-frame. ...in large uh, this morning. Yeah, let's so see what they can do today. Let's see what medium can hold up to. Uh, third team member in uh, Belgium, Frank Gers and the Shetland Sheepdog, Doi. And up on the dog walk, he goes. It's a slow dog walk, and it's a five fault. But he's, as long as he gets a result, he's still through for a result, so they can compete for the World Championships. Through that tunnel, and he runs fast, and it's a round. It's a hard stop there, I think, because many just breaks a lot, and then they have a problem with getting on the course again for the handlers. It's a hit on the A-frame. It's a refusal. But it, they are still through the course. And yes, it's a result. It's 10 points and the time 42.88, I think. Yeah, 42.88 it is. Yeah, and it's getting really exciting here. The last team member of Belgium, Jessica Holstens, and the Shetland Sheepdog, Nio. Up on the dog walk, it's not a hit, it's a five fault. So they're up in 15 faults total, Yeah. so far. It's a nice weave entrance, a little bit of a lot, uh, too much speed, but the dog solved that nicely through 11-12. And she runs, yes, oh, they Belgium that. can run. And through 17, yes, over and 18. And hold to that little shelty all the way down. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, oh, she oh, almost don't trips, trip, but she does not. And we have a result. It's a zero, 36, 95. Which means they have 15 faults total. And a time of 119 and 22. So we have the first result in for the World Championships. Now we have something to refer to. Here we go for Japan. The first out is Hiroyuki Komatsu with Hibiki, a poodle. They're off, they're up the frame, and it's a hit over there. Yes, through the tunnel, and he collects the dog nicely over that fence. Nice weaves. And they're through, through the tunnel, and get 11, 12 is good, and he runs. Yes, he does. He's before the dog, around that fence, up the seesaw. Yes, it's a hit. Round 17, 18. Oh, no, it's a miss on the dog walk, but he doesn't take the tunnel, so it's only a reversal, but there's the tunnel. That's the disqualification.
So let's see what the next dog can do here. Now we have Maki Inoue and Timo, also a poodle. There you can see in the replay how the wrong tunnel got in the way. Let's see what they can do here. So they have to go around the course to be able to compete for the... Oh, it's a tunnel and dis disqualification, which means Japan is out of the competition. So nice round that fence, and let's see what they do on the A frame. It's a hit. Okay, then let's take in number three. It's Yoshiko Chisida. Suchida with Kira, a Shetland Sheepdog. It's a nice hit on the dog walk through the tunnel, round that fence in the seesaw, yes. And a little bit of misunderstanding, but they're through the tunnel. It's 11 and over 12. Now she has to run. She's a little bit after the dog, but they can solve that. Yes, they can. Over the seesaw, round 17, they also do a wrap but they misses a little time over that, but she's over it. It's a hit on the A-frame. And they're in, zero faults, 40-45. It's a nice run. So now we take in their fourth. It's Shigeru Arai with Rock, a poodle. Up the A-frame, it's not a hit, it's a fire fault. Through that tunnel, round that fence, in the seesaw, no, in the weaves. 11, oh, what a jump, and over 12, and he runs. Oh, it's a tunnel. I didn't see that one coming. I thought he was in good time. Yeah, he was in good time, but I think he didn't look at the dog exactly for that moment when the dog came out of the tunnel uh, um, before. No. So, and the, it's a poodle. It's a poodle. And you can do a poodle. And uh, the dog has already uh, made up uh, the mind. Having Norway and first one out in Norway, Avin Bredefossum with the Pernian Sheepdog Fikus. Nice hit on yes. the dog walk and a bit big turn, but they are around the, that fence and in the weeds nicely. Yes, what a weave! They only have 1.56 uh, time faults from yesterday. So if Avin just runs, yes, it's around there and up the seesaw. And they're clean on the seesaw. A wrap. Let's see in a frame. It's a hit. Oh, put that dog over those obstacles. Yes, it's a clean run. 40, 38. So let's see here. Next up in Norway, Mette Elin Sandbacken and the Shetland Sheepdog, Ellie. Oh, yes. she stops and the dog right there. Put her around. All the way up on the dog walk. Yesterday they were disqualified. Five faults on the dog walk. Yes. Total in the lead for now have 15 faults, so they can afford some just to go up in the lead right now. But of course they want to do so few faults as possible to be able to keep that lead as well. Looks good, and Norway is going wild here yeah, in yeah. the audience. 
The A-frame is a hit. Round there, two fences to go. And yes, they're over. Five points for the 224. And that cheer in the finish line from the Norwegian team leaders. It's so amazing to see the happiness. And we're having the third team member of Norway. And it's Ina Himle with the Shetland Sheepdog. We. No! It's a disqualification. No, it's a disqualification. It means we need to count all the results we already have. Which is five faults total so far. Okay. So if they just go around next dog without any faults, they go up in the lead. They can even afford a five fault to go up in the lead. If they have a ten, then we have to count the time. Yeah, we can see the Norwegians uh, up here at the Orion. They are always have a really good crowd for their teams. We are watching Nina Matilde Eng and the Shetland Sheepdog Ifa. And it's, it's up to nice them walk. to take this all the way around so they can have a results. The nice weaves. No! 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 no. no. It's just it's five faults and a refusal. What was the five faults? I for? don't know if he put it up wrong, but there we have oh, disqualification. Yes. Which means that Norway is uh, out of the competition and the championship. But the Norwegian audience is still cheering for their team member. So now we only have five teams left with results. It's Russia, France, Czech Republic, Brazil and Germany. Yes, and we're counting our asses off right here to give you the fastest results possible. Russia goes in this with 0.74 faults. Yeah, and we're watching Svetlana Geneva and the Shetland Sheepdog Barry. It's a five on the dog walk. Oh, she's catching up the dog real nicely from the tunnel. Nice through the weaves. Over 11 and 12, what a nice line she gets. Over the long jump and a nice round. Look what easy it looks. Yeah, I, I think we can see some like medium fast dogs make this course really, really well. And they are through five faults, 38, 96. Let's see if they have to count that one or if they can get three clean runs from Angelina, Svetlana and Elena. Yeah, second team member of Russia, Angelina Katutis and the Finnish Spitz Obelisk. They're over one, two, three. Nice up the dog walk. It's a hit. Yeah, they need every hit they can right now to get in the lead. And it's a little bit of misunderstanding, and it's a refusal in the weaves. Which means they have 10 faults with them right now, and a second refusal. Which means we have to count Svetlana's five fault round. It's a hit on the A-frame, it's a misunderstanding, but they're solving it. Over 21 and 22. 10 faults, 46, 73. And we're having in number three in Russia, Svetlana Gutschina and the Border Collie Torpeda. Let's see what she can do, if we can uh, scratch Angelina's 10 fault round. It's a oh, hit on the dog walk. A nice hit. A little Very slippery nice after the dog walk for the Border oh. Collie. But they saved it. They saved it. Oh, what a save. What a dog. Look at those weaves saved. Oh. 2, 11, 12. Yes. And she needs to run. Yes, Fast she does. Oh, what a dog. What an independent.
Independence Dog there, and this is exactly what Andreas is uh, like to watch on this kind of course. Yeah, that was what he said, that they would need to do this correctly. And yes. Oh, yes, it's a clean run, 36-30. Nice, fast time. One more of those, and we can scratch Angelina's 10 faults and put a lot of pressure on the next couple of teams. Which is uh, Elena Koshetova and Moody Kimi. They're through there. Up the dog walk. Oh, what a hit! What a dog, what a moody. Kimi the Moody is uh, making the crowds share just to see nice agility at this level. They did, oh, oh no! Oh, it's a refusal. They did a really, really nice run last yesterday as well. And around, yes, they hit that one. And oh, the, oh, is the dog on? No, no, now she's on. And now she's on. <laughs> she was, she not was on like first. stopping right in yeah. front of the contact. Oh, and she does get nice up on. The, look what the, the dog, what she can do with the round. Five points, 4160. Which means that we can scratch Angelina's 10 fold round and we end up with a fault of 10 and the time of, let's see here. Yeah, 10 faults total for Russia. And a total time of 192.12. No, that can't be right. I have to count this again. We're watching France. First out, Virginie Bruna with the Shetland Sheepdog Ice Tea. Oh, what an independence round. And if is this we're going to watch the rest of this class, I'm going to just sit back and enjoy. This is world-class agility. It's a clean run from France. And the time, 36.05. Yes. And this starts really, really well when we're going to watch the second team member of France, which is Mael Kalik and the Shetland Sheepdog, Yummy. Russia went in on 10 faults and time on 116.86. And it's nice through the tunnels and she gets that obstacle right. Which means Russia in the lead right now. Oh no, that's a disqualification for May and Yami, which puts a lot of pressure on her teammates. So Russia is in the lead on 10.74 faults and time 219.89. And after that is Belgium on 15 faults, 221.73. Yeah, and we're watching second one, third one in France, uh, which is Alexandre Kaklin and the Shetland Sheepdog Link. They're clean so far. Round there in the weaves. Yes, it's a hit. Now run for this. Russia has with them 0 0.74 faults from yesterday. So three clean runs they can get quite far on, I think, today. It's a hit on the A-frame. It's a round there and two obstacles left. And yes, it's a clean run, 38-94. Let's see what their last team member can do. Yeah, and it's Renaud Castellain with the Shetland Sheepdog, Demeter. And if they're off with a clean run, they are going straight up in the lead. Yes. And a good lead. Then we only have four team, no, sorry, three teams left on zero faults. And France had zero faults with them from yesterday. Yeah, and they were fourth, so we have three three countries left after and this. And he runs, and oh, yes, it's around, around. around. Clean so far. Let's see the last bit of this course. Oh my god, Whoa. if he cleans this round, he's putting so much pressure it's a hit on, on the rest the of the teams. 
to... Oh, oh, he gets behind, but it works. Yes, it's a clean run, 38-45. So now we have a totally clean team. France, Wielfold with a total time for this course of 113.44. Uh, which means a total time of... Excuse me, it takes a bit time to count. Yeah, I'm going to present... 15 and 69 as total. I'm going to present uh, for you. Uh, it's Czech Republic right now, and we're watching Eliska Kalatova and the Shetland Sheepdog jive. And it's so exciting, and we're counting so much right now. And there's... They also had zero faults from yesterday, so three clean runs is what they need. And yeah, she has not, she's not really with the dog, but they solve it anyway. And round 17, she also wraps. I think she loses a little bit of time, but she's safe. And on the A-frame, over there, and last jump. Yes, it's a clean run, 39-41. Uh, second competitor from Czech Republic, we have Radka Mokrysova and the Shetland Sheepdog, Easy. And hold on to that little shelter right now, because uh, three clean it's runs. A, it's, a hit. it's a hit, Andreas points at the, the uh, dog walk, so it's a low hit. Through the weaves, 11 and 12, not a problem, and she runs. No! no! It's a disqualification. She almost hold, held the dog in the nose yeah. and the dog took the tunnel anyway. But it's, that's, it's exactly the same fault as we saw last time someone did that. They are actually a little bit too ahead of the dog. And I don't think anyone has thought of that as a problem since it's such a long way. Yeah, we're watching Eva Maderova and the Shetland Sheepdog Flame. And she has to give the team a clean run if they want to be able to compete for gold. It's a hit. Through the tunnel. Round there. Yes, they're through. 11, 12, let's see. Yep, they're over. And she runs, and they're over the long walk, jump, and that fence seesaw is clean. Wraps 17 as well. And up, it's a hit on the A-frame. Two fences left. It's a clean run, 36-54. Which means they have a time of 75-95 for so long. And to get in the lead right now, they need to run faster than 39-62. And it's up to Martina Magnoli, Klimasova and the Moody Kiki to do that. 39-62, as, as I said. They need to run faster than that to beat France. In today's class, yes. To beat the total time, they need to have, let's see here, this is the total. It's, uh, we're up in 30 seconds right now, so they're going to make it. And she does. Oh, she has a nice run at the time, 35, 90, 91, and they're all right. That round. Now I'm going to. They got uh, zero faults and a total time of uh, 111.86 in this round. 0.86. And they're up in the lead right now before France. And we're going to watch the two last ones. Uh, Brazil, second from uh, yesterday. And we're watching Marcella Francoso and the Pyrenean sheepdog Finwe. Let's see what they can do here. I think they're clean so far. Oh, 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 
little oh, misunderstanding, oh. but they're solving it. And yes, they're through. That was some pressure. It's a five on the seesaw. Uh, I think First of today. Yes. And with that five, they need to count the three other team members' races. Time of 40.03. Yeah, and that's not good enough to win the gold medal today or the silver medal, because we have Czech Republic in the lead and France on second with clean runs. Second team member of Brazil, Vivian Special and the Shetland Sheepdog, Jem. And we need a clean run. Oh, it's a five. five faults. But they can still make third place. So let's see what they can do here. Refusal as well. Another refusal. Two refusals and five faults mean 15 faults total. 20 faults, they got the first bar down as well. Sorry, we did miss that. It means that they're, as for now, they're in fifth place, I think. Time of 43.07. Yeah, and we're going to see the third team member of Brazil, which is Felipe Minet and Moody Cora. And let's hope that they do uh, clean runs now so they can scratch Viviana's 20 faults round. Oh, Ooh. no! The dog jumps off, I think. He went Did too he fast, thought he I was think. the seesaw? I think I he went too fast and got to the edge, yeah. kind of. We need to see that in a replay later. And it's a disqualification, sadly. And this means Brazil is out of medal this year. So sad, we have seen so many good runs from Brazil yesterday. But, but we're we going to watch the last team member of Brazil anyway. Here we and see the dog, yeah, you yeah. can see the dog comes really way too fast and it, he doesn't get any balance here. It's off the edge. I don't know what he does. He just jumps. Yeah, but he's off the edge on the left side. Yeah. This is Jose Luis Filo and the border collie, Bina. Which misses a jump and do it from the wrong way, which means disqualification. And we just have one team left. Yeah, Brazil is out. So we have Germany left. Germany, Germany, Germany. What are you going to do? And in the lead now, we have the Czech Republic, who took silver last year. So they're in for a treat here, I think. L at least silver this year, too. Yeah, and I have been counting here. So um, we need a total time of... They have, they can run in total uh, 160.22, and if I split that in three, 38.74 per dog. Yeah. 38.74 per dog. And this is going to be so exciting to count. Yeah. I'm ready with the calculator. We have three calculators here, so we can count for you. This is the first one in Germany. It's Joachim Graf and the Manchester Terrier, Sebs. Oh, it's what a nice hit. hit. This and is so exciting. The tunnel and round the fence, yes. In the weaves, no problem. He's through the weaves. Let's see, 11, 12. Oh, hold on Over. to that little terrier. No problem. And he runs. Oh, he runs. And it's a round without a problem. Up the seesaw. It's a hit. Round 17. Over 18. Up the A-frame. Oh, it looks so easy. Yeah. Round there. Is he even Gets. done with the courts? Good. Oh, my God. Oh. Clean run, 38-16. So he's under the time, which gives the other ones a little more playing time. 
They have 78.06 seconds left, and I, as I told you, 38.74 they have to beat, and he had 38.16, which means they have a little more time for the other dogs. They and here we're watching Busina Schroeder <gasps> no, and the Shetland Dog Puck. And we have a disqualification, and it's a lot of pressure on Daniel Schroeder and Silas Bogt. But they can run in 39.03, and that's a pretty slow time for this course. And we know that both Daniel and Silas is really fast. So yeah. if they're clean, they can take this. Yeah, 39.03 is really slow for those dogs. So if they just made two clean runs right now, they are going to win this gold medal as they haven't done anything else in their lives. Yes, let's see what they can do here. Oh my God, this Daniel is so Schroeder exciting. Daniel won the individual medium gold last year. Yeah, and this Shetland Sheepdog Cashew is a really good dog, so it would not be they so did. much of a problem. No, they had the same team last year, so these two oh are used my to God, running what a world championships. Dog walk with a nice hit so on it. So nice. In the, in, yes, they're in the seesaw. No, they're in the weaves. God, I have to say this right soon. 11 and 12, yes, through the tunnel. Over oh, the long gun! No, no, oh, no, 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 yes, he saves it! Oh, he he saves, it. saves it! God, what a seesaw! And, and over 17 and 18, and yes, it's a hit on the A frame. Run, Daniel, run! And he's through! And in a great time! 33.89, God! Oh my God, he puts up a so good uh, situation Silas for can, the... Silas can run yeah. in 44.17, that's a really slow time. Silas Bogt and the Shetland Sheepdog Beam, he looks so, so uh, pressured good. right now. They have 44.17 seconds to get this course, and Come all he on, has to do is to run clean to and get this gold hit. medal. And he and put in that the tunnel. into the tunnel. And take him, yes, over the fence. And the sea, the weaves are through. Yes, they are. And 11, 12, yeah, to the tunnel and run. Run, Silas, run. And round, yes, of course. What a dog. And what a dog we're watching. Oh, look at this. And the A-frame. It's There's no. it. You can it's it. run. You can and smell run. the dog. And you run. can smell and the dog. Yes. Oh five. my God! It's he's a third place. It's a bronze with that five. Oh my God! He smelled that gold. Yeah, and the he dog did. slipped. You can see the dog slipped. Yes, you can. Oh, oh, what a dog! What a great round! They did so well. That was just, just oh, something that slip. happened. They, they could not help that one. What a time! 34-31. Yeah, what a team. God, what round! Oh, I almost crying for him. Oh, it was such a good round. He, the dog and the handlers saved up each other so many times and make a so good run and yeah. a damn bar, a damn, damn and bar you can see the from the gold. thinking the same, I think. But yeah. we have, if we have counted correctly, we have a winner in Czech Republic, zero fault, 211.98. And a silver medalist from Zero Fault 215.69. But it's not in totally. Do we have a total time from Germany as well? It's uh, maybe. No, I don't have the time exactly right now, sadly. But we uh, these results are maybe not totally accurate. We haven't got them checked yet.
what a run. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I don't have words for the last one. Poor Silas, it was such a nice run. This was a goosebumps uh, all the way to the finish line. All, it was so exciting all the way to the last of all the way to the last obstacle. Yeah, now and they're cleaning the arena so we can have a lap of honor for this course, for the agility team competition, not the world championship. We start with the agility team. Yeah, and uh, because we, when we got into the results from yesterday, we stopped counting on the results for the class, so we will also get surprised uh, which team was the fastest team at this course? But I will think it's either Czech Republic or France. Uh, it should be. It probably would be Czech Republic, but we're not sure. And the live results are still not really in, uh, in the right place. So they're working on that as uh, much as they can. Yeah, I hope you had a really, really... Uh, Good time. I don't think jokes. anyone at home sat down d during these final laps. Uh, I did not. I sat on Niels and I had to stand up when Germany got in. Because this was so exciting. This is agility on a really, really high level. And this is what agility is all about. The crowd is sharing for every good agility lap. And here we are. And you can also see that this is agility where anything can happen. It was a really, really nice clean run, the last one, and the dog slips. It's, it's things that happen. But if you look at the run, it was really nice. Daniel's run was really nice, and Joachim Graf's run was also really nice. Yeah, and we, have a, we, we had a disqualification in Germany from uh, Bosena and Puck, which gave Daniel and Silas a really, really um, tense mode to get into the course. And they did it anyway. The dog can sleep, everything can happen. This is agility. And it's no one's fault. Uh, Silas yeah. couldn't have done anything uh, to prevent that. Not the dog either. It was a slip. It's, that happens. Nothing. Uh, but we have, uh, in Czech Republic, we have three nice zeros from uh, Eliska, Eva and Martina. And in France as well. In, let's see here, we, we have them. Yes, uh, three nice zeros from Virginia, Alexandre, and Renault. We're waiting here for the uh, lap of honor for this agility team class for today. They are prepa preparing the teams and calling their names just so that everyone gets in the hall here so they can run. And uh, during that time, we're checking the audience a bit they see themselves up on the megatron and they wave there i think i will be tired tonight what do you think sophie yeah this weekend is going to kill me yeah <laughs> something like that yeah uh, you're going to be able to listen to us too in the small and large individual laps and fanny and catalina will give you the medium saturday and sunday and the small final team today will be Fanny and Katharina. That talks. And in uh, small, I at least will sit on, in the audience and get a lot of nerves because Sweden is currently in second place. Yeah, that's, that is going to be a real nailer. Yeah. Uh, the small teams also have a really high quality. Let's see, Rebecca is pronouncing the teams that are going to do a lap of honor. I think we're, first of all, is going to watch the team that won this course. Yes, we are. Yes. And I we think it is Czech Republic. I think I recognize the flag, or did I see wrong? Portugal also did a great uh, yes, run. They did. So we'll see which team is getting on third place. We'll see here. Uh, we 
watching some uh, sweets uh, at the screen. We're watching uh, at some uh, earlier uh, uh, team members of the country. And now we can... And I, I think they are... <laughs> we can see the French team singing and cheering for each other here. It's a really good uh, audience here. They're uh, cheering for each other and uh, really happy when the, their team goes well. It's really fun to see. Yeah, and uh, I'm looking forward to see everyone's on the podium. It's yeah. like uh, a thing to fall on the podium. Yeah. Someone <laughs> is going to fall on the podium. <laughs> Who is it going to be this time? We have seen the German uh, team leader falling, yes, and we, we have did. seen a competitor falling in large. Yes, we did that as well. Yeah, so uh, I'm see excited to see day. if we're going to, s to have any stage dive at this prize ceremony. Let's hope not, but we can we can never be sure. If we have the right information, we will have the prize ceremony for today's run now with the lap of honor and uh, the prize ceremony and everything. And then we will have a lap of honor for the world champions, but the prize ceremony for the world champions will be first on Sunday. Yeah, and uh, that's, uh, I think it's a good thing because uh, tomorrow and on Sunday, we're going to have uh, a full <laughs> arena. And yeah. of course, they're going to have the prize ceremony in front of a full arena. Yeah, when you're world champion, I think you can deserve that, don't you? Yeah. Let's see here what happens. That was uh, it for us today. We're going to uh, take a break here and then Fanny and Catalina will come back to you. And uh, you will be able, of course, to see the prize ceremony and the lap of honors now. Have a nice day and we'll see you soon.
Give it up for France! Now, I would like you all to please step down from the podium, but stay close because I have the total results in my hands. So please step down and I will call the results up for the total in just a few seconds. And we will have the lap of honor for the total winners, the world champions, team media. Are you ready?